what's up guys, um, so we just went to the doctor and got my, yo, yo, whoa, watch yourself, asshole, I got my blood work, um, routine checkup, I gained eight pounds, happy as hell about that, um, blood work is phenomenal, obviously, I've been eating well, I've been working hard, and I've been working out, doing yoga again, a lot of things feel a lot better, um, got to see Ed Bassmaster last night at, uh, House of Independence in Asbury Park, and, um, he invited me, he put me on the guest list, Eddie, I was happy as hell, um, but yeah, um, as for other news, my friend just celebrated, well, he got the Brixati shot, which they're sublocated in Brixati, uh, Brixati comes in lower doses, so if anybody ever wanted me to talk about the shot, I can definitely fill you in with that, um, my friend, he's got, he's now, uh, last shot he got was four months ago, he got four shots, um, a 300, a 196, he said, and a, a 96, and then another 96 milligrams, and hasn't gone back, the only symptoms that he has, um, well, he said because he got his shot yesterday, and after, sorry, I'm driving too, after he got his shot, he called me like he always does, and he was like, oh, you know, like, uh, I had these symptoms, and, uh, he, he was keeping me posted each month, the symptoms and the severity and blah, blah, blah. They weren't bad at all. Um, the first month, remember, I want to talk about this real quick. The first month you get that shot, whether it's Brixati, uh, Sublicade, the, the formula, the pharmacokinetics of it all, you're not going to have a good first month, according to everybody that's taken it. And um, I studied the formula, so I understand it. It's, it's similar to just buprenorphine, but... It's uh, obviously long-acting, injectable, turns into a solid, the Brixati, excuse me, and um, it's just uh, pretty much, it's like any other medication, you get your dose before you'll feel it, like he used to tell me like he felt like a, a, a rectangle in his stomach or something like, like where she shot him up, his doctor, because he goes to a doctor that I used to go to for sublingual strips in the past years ago, so I know who his, his doctor is, she's really nice, um, he says he feels like this rectangle, I guess that's the solid inside this, you know, uh, next to his belly button, he gets it, um, but he says, like, at the end of the month, like, there's still some solid left in his stomach, so there's still dosages there, like, there's still, you know, it's still basically not disintegrating, but it's, like, melting, um, melting, but like, uh, uh, it's releasing, you know what I mean, slowly, so, it's not, um, it's not like, obviously, sublingual shot, or sublingual medication, because, you know, you're not, like, losing your, you're not losing your, uh, sorry, you're not losing your, um, these people cannot drive out here. So he had a little bit left in his stomach and then it would overlap at the end of the month. He would get the next shot to overlap on top. And then that's, like I always say, that's tolerance. That's how it builds. So he did that, um, his fourth shot, and now it's four months after. So he said the only issues he had was like too much sleep and he would break a sweat here and then, but it would go away. Like he said, it would just go away. Especially if he didn't focus on it, it would go away. And he's not constipated, he said. He's, his emotions, he said that he's feeling again, which is great. You know what I mean? Um, because that means that, like I explained in my other video, like, it's not pink cloud, it's you, dude. Like, it's you. You know what I mean? It's you. It's, it's your real emotions crawling up aside your receptors and saying, hey, you know what I mean? This is the real me. You know what I mean? don't look at it as pink pink Floyd pink cloud because if you do you're gonna look at it as a withdrawal symptom you're not gonna look at it as a you know what I mean like a 
you're not going to look at it as any aspect of healing. You're going to see it as, oh, it's a withdrawal symptom. No, fuck you. It's not a withdrawal symptom. It's you. I've been through it when I was getting better. You know what I mean? Like, I remember feeling it and saying, oh, pink cloud. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to tell myself this is fucking pink cloud anymore. Because if I do, everything's a fucking withdrawal symptom. Fuck that, yo. No. That's not the case. Okay? If anybody's trying to get off buprenorphine in any form, even if you have the implant, you know what I mean, which is basically like the shot, it's like very similar, it's like the same fucking thing, um, from what I've seen, and my other friends that have successfully gotten off the shot, I think I mentioned them in my past videos, the girl and the guy, um, dude, the results I'm seeing from these people, it's phenomenal, and they were on sublingual strips at a point. So, you have to understand, Brixati's, uh, Brixati shot, Sublicate, I mean, Sublicate comes in, I think, like a 300 and like another, maybe like a 100 or something like that. I'm not, I know it's 300, but uh, Brixati comes in like lower dosages so you can taper better. And uh, one had Sublicate, the other had Brixati, and my other boy that I'm talking about, it was a little newer, he got Brixati, and, uh, the symptoms are <clears throat> fairly, I know it takes a while for it to leave your system, I understand that, trust me, I get it, you know me, I get it, um, but four months, I mean, dude, and he's a thin guy, I mean, that shit is leaving, he says he has no, uh, rectangle, you know, that rectangle, uh, bump I mentioned, that's the solid form, you know, when it when it forms a solid inside uh, your stomach um, on your fat cells next to your belly button he has no more so there's nothing and he got his urine test uh, for buprenorphine and no buprenorphine was detected so from what I know now which is why I made the video he's celebrating um, his uh, being off the shot you know what I mean and that's awesome because it gives him another shot he said he doesn't crave, he doesn't have any, nothing like that. He feels great. Um, what did he say? What did he tell me? He said, uh, sleeping a lot. Like some days he sleeps more than others, he said. Yeah, that's what he told me. And then um, <clears throat> he said, I'm trying to remember what other symptoms, because we had like an hour and a half conversation. Um, oh, he mentioned that like his emotions, like he can feel again, like he can feel he can feel like he's he's connecting with the emotions he said yeah because i remember he says he's like i feel like i'm grabbing my emotions and i'm like understanding them and i'm like good that's that's what you want you know what i mean that's perfect and um <clears throat> he said his appetite it's like normal he's not constipated he, yeah, he said he's not constipated anymore he said he could drink a cup of coffee and he shits his brains out i'm like great so everything's going smooth um just wanted to update you guys if anyone's ever been thinking about getting it from what i've seen it's a go